Welcome back to Houston Life. Whether it's baseball, Halloween, or Dia de los Muertos, this month has something for everyone, and the same can be said about our next artist spotlight. Truly, and what I love about his story is that people like Jose Olvera, they're just living amongst us here in the Houston area. I went out to his studio in Jersey Village, and while the rest is Houston Life history. Check it out. I feel very como la flor right now. Okay, I don't need any help getting into the Halloween spirit. That comes very naturally for me. But if you wanna be inspired and just blown away by creativity, I have met the artist behind these amazing paper mache heads, and he's gonna be turning all the heads come Halloween time. So let's go meet him, have some fun. How did you get to the point where you say, you know what, I'm gonna make huge paper mache heads. I'm gonna design them after, you know, um, monsters, spooky things, pumpkin heads, even now baseball players with this Jose Altuve big head. How did this even start? This came about maybe 20 years ago. There was this event called the Moonlight Ramble. And so I showed up to a couple of these events as a kid, but I had no costume. So I created my first one, which is this big skeleton that I made out of fiberglass. It was a little heavy, but it was a blast. I got so much intention with that. Then I made another one, which was the uh, pumpkin head. And then I created more and more. My goal was to get people's attention and get that wow effect. And people are really enjoying what you created. Yeah, they seem to spread a lot of joy. So let's go through the, the paper mache heads that you have made. You've made, obviously, a Frankenstein. Yes, Frankie. Mm -hmm. This is the newest one. It's Jose Altuve. Eh? Which is perfect because playoff baseball, this yes. is our guy. I mean, that's and perfect. I'm a big fan of the Astros, yes. That's awesome. Yes. Um, what else you got? Well, I've got um, Dracula, uh, of course, the pumpkin head. I've got the werewolf, a mummy, a skeleton, and we're working on a couple of more coming into the future. I see you have the display up for Jose. Yes. And this is kind of maybe your, um, your are you looking at, the, how often are you looking right. at this? At what point do you actually put up a picture or how do, how do you do so it? So most artists need a reference. Uh -huh. A reference is either from a photograph, from uh, a live person. I would love to Jose to be to model for this, but of course that's not gonna happen. So I had to use resources mm -hmm. to just get a likeness of him. Okay. And that was very difficult. But, and much more difficult is working with paper, especially getting this detail. Okay. But that's the challenge. Yeah. That's what I love. I love a challenge. Okay. What is the most challenging part when you're making this? Carving them out. Remember, these are paper mache, all paper. Wow. This is recycled paper. That's incredible. Yes. We're all about reduce, reuse, yes. but this is not where I would think that something I'm throwing in the recycle bin That's would could be created, like that this could come out of that. Right. That's insane. Yeah. But that's the fun part about it, is creating something out of nothing. Literally. And that's why I try to teach to a lot of people um, and to get them, to encourage them, get creative. Um, it doesn't have to cost you much to get to do a project. Just do a project. I love that. As someone who has worked as a, as a creator and an artist for many, many years, what is the best advice you could give someone or a viewer that's watching this? To start doing art or to be a great artist, I was taught something when I was very young by, uh, by uh, an art teacher. He, he told me to be a good or a great artist, you wanna be different. Be different. Be different. I think that's perfect for Houstonians and how diverse our culture yes. is, everything is. Everyone has something to offer. So, I mean, look, you've got a great story. I can tell you love what you do, but we gotta have some fun with these masks. Yes. Can we do yes, that? Let's okay, do let's fun. do it. Okay. Yes, do <laughs> okay, let's do it. So to play the part with pumpkin head, you have to be the harassing pumpkin. Okay. You can harass people. Gotta harass I think I do that anyway, but okay. It changes you. It changes it you completely. Like you're ready to do anything. And I, you said I have to be like menacing, right? Yes. You have to be harassing. Okay. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> this is great. Okay. I'm not kidding. You can see in there, there's a helmet, so it's safe. 
do you have a helmet in there and you can completely see there's no like this peripheral oh I can't see you over here it's like you're in there you're completely aware and it's so fun you're in the zone okay so Jose is a self-proclaimed starving artist so if you're interested in one of these amazing creations we're gonna put his contact information on the scene on section of HoustonLiveTV.com and shout out to him for putting up with me and just showing me all that cool stuff he's so talented yeah all right we're gonna take a quick break Houston life will be right back